Miss Keller, I have a question. You were talking about the Israelis and the Palestinians, but I don't see Palestine on the map. Well, Lisa, the Palestinians live here, but they don't have a country of their own. Why not? It's complicated, but let me try to explain. Both peoples wanted a country in a place they call the Holy Land. After World War II, Western powers divided it between them, but Arab nations said no. Over the years, wars were fought with the new country of Israel, and Israel won, taking control of Palestinian land. There hasn't been peace since. Now a million and a half Palestinians live in Gaza, packed into this tiny strip of land. And more are refugees in other countries or live here, in East Jerusalem and the West Bank. But Israeli governments have covered this Palestinian land with new Jewish towns called settlements. Settlers are just one-tenth of the population, but they've taken over most of the land. The settlements are like colonies, built to control as much land and water as possible. They're illegal under international law, but no one stops them. Some settlements have a lot of guns, but this is not the Wild West. They have malls, factories, and swimming pools. They get three times as much water as Palestinian villages, which have to deal with shortages and settlement sewage. The settlements are connected by a maze of roads, some only Israelis can use. While Palestinians can spend hours every day passing through military checkpoints just to get to school or work or even the hospital. Some Palestinians have never been able to visit relatives who live just miles away. Israel has also built a huge security wall that's taken over even more land. It cuts some Palestinian villages down the middle, separating farmers from their lands and people from their friends and family. So the real map looks like this, with the wall, roads, and over 200 settlements squeezing Palestinians into small pockets. You see, Lisa, today there still really isn't a place that Palestinians can call their own. Some have turned to violence and even terrorism, and attacks in recent years by both sides have killed over 1,000 Israelis and over 6,000 Palestinians. But why? Well, Lisa, many people are afraid. Millions of Jews were murdered during the Holocaust, pushing them to fight harder for a safe homeland. And after decades of suffering under Israeli control, Palestinians are desperate for freedom and an independent state. It's a sad story, but there is hope. Most Israelis and Palestinians agree on two states for two peoples. So does President Obama. It is time for these settlements to stop. The only resolution is through two states where Israelis and Palestinians each live in peace and security. But powerful extremists in the Middle East and Washington are doing all they can to destroy this chance for change. Only an unprecedented global movement can put an end to decades of violence and injustice. The time is now. Join the campaign for peace at avaz.org.